Hello there, Peppers FM here, and welcome back to this FM21 Rail Sociedad Let's Play. So the last episode was the very good 1-0 victory against Real Madrid. But since then, things took a bit of a turn. We then got beat 2-0 by Villarreal in the league. Very poor performance. Pino getting both goals for Villarreal. We struggled to create. Nothing really happened. And overall, it was a very, very disappointing performance. And then what followed up was an even more disappointing performance. 4-1 against Real Betis. Gagliardini getting a goal, who did play for us during our first season. But it just was not good enough. Really, really poor performance, really. And then I was starting to worry about the league. But we did bounce back with a 3-0 victory against Levante. But then another disappointing uh, performance, a one-all draw against Espanyol. But then since then, we have uh, bounced back in fashion and style. 3-0 against our rivals, Bilbao, Chukwueze, Eduard and Yanazai getting the goals. And then a very, very uh, convincing 7-1 victory against Ibar. Away from home, we went 7-0 up in this game. And one of the performances of the season, very, very good. Isaac getting a first half hat trick and hopefully he is back to his best. So where does this leave us today? We will win La Liga if we win today's game. So a big, big game. We did, uh, I have shown you how we slipped up, but Madrid was on a bit of bad form themselves. They have drew their last three games against Girona, Villarreal and Real Betis. So two of the teams that beat us have also got results against Real Madrid. So that leaves the league looking like this. We are one point ahead, but we have two games to play, whereas Madrid only have one. So we, if we have victors today against, who are we playing? I forgot already. Cadiz at home, who are an 18th in the league, which we should be winning. We will be crowned champions for the second year running. So this is the team that will play today. Actually, I'll make one little change because Chukwueze is not fully fit. Got a rumour in goal. Grospo right back. Pau Torres and Luis Felipe will be centre backs. Juan Bernat will start at left back because Gosens is suspended. Tenali and Marino in midfield. Yanazai on the right. Yusuf Demir will start as a shadow striker today. Oyazabal on the left, and Alexander Isaac will lead the line. Let's go. And we are off. So title deciding game today. We'll say that. We can still afford to lose because we still have uh, one game left of the season. So it wouldn't be the end of the world. As Yusuf Demir breaks through and he does not score. I thought he just uh, ran straight through the middle and was going to get himself a goal, but not the case. I hope we can finish it off here and now. We should be beating Cadiz. No disrespect to them, but they're 18 for the league. We have a great side. We're, in, we're playing well. The last two games we've been very, very good. So I expect us to carry on from that and put in a dominant performance. But let's see. Things don't always work out that way. That way, it is football. This is Football Manager. <laughs> Probably written in the script somewhere that we're gonna mess up here and give them, give Madrid a chance for the final day. But let's see. Oyarzabal, oh, yes, breaks clear. Should be scoring. There's me. Ah. We've had a couple of chances. It's been a decent start by us, but we've just not really found our finishing touch yet. Isaac from distance. Great shot, but good save by the Cadiz keeper. Yanazai whips it in. And will they counter? No, we round it up. We're relentless pressure here from us. Yanazai now. Into the box and Alexander Isaac, who else? Number 36 for the season. Our talismanic uh, Swede gets the goal. Uh, I fear another summer of rejecting offers for Alexander Isaac. There will be plenty of interest in him. He is our main goal scorer. He is our go-to guy. And as things stand, we are champions of Spain for the second season running. Let's hope we could carry on the pressure. And finish this game convincingly. So we're knocking the ball around nicely here. And that's been a great uh, signing cover for left back. It was a, a weakness of ours, not really having the strength and depth in that position. As Oyazabal makes it to 10th goal of the season. Not scored as many as last year, not been as influential as last year, but nonetheless, still a solid season from our captain. And I will definitely not be selling him. 
during the summer. I know Manchester City are interested in him, but I have no intention of letting him go. Here's 2 0. What was I just saying before that, anyway? Uh, yeah, Isaac. There is a lo- There will be a lot of interest in him, no doubt, but I really don't want to let him go. He is our number one striker, our, our main goal source. So it just makes no sense to sell him. But one position I am considering upgrading is the central midfielder spot. Still so undecided whether to make Renato Sanchez's move permanent. Because I feel like we can get better. I wouldn't mind buying like that superstar who will come straight into the first team. Whereas Sanchez is a brilliant, brilliant squad player. But I want someone who... I think, oh, he's better than Marino. He's better than Tonali. And they can come straight in and make that impact. But it will be difficult. And we've been given a budget of £30 million. Another low budget, really, in the grand scheme of things. You can't really buy world-class players with that amount of money. So it's going to be another window where we have to sell to buy. And then some of the players I am thinking about moving on off the top of my head, Usman Dembele, if I can get the right offer for him, I feel like we don't necessarily need him. And then we do have Barencia out on loan. Uh, I think it's Keltafigo, maybe. So if he comes back, then we have four wingers as Tenali seals the title for us. It was expected. It is his first goal of the season. But anyway... So if I get rid of Dembele, we have the cover and the wing, so I wouldn't need to reinvest in that area. Uh, Who else? We do have Isco, who's, I think he's a really good squad player, and every time we've had a few injuries, he's come in and done a great job, actually. He was signed to be our backup advanced playmaker, but then we managed to finally get Youssef Demir on deadline day, so that did not work out for him. We do have a penalty here, I believe. So I could possibly try getting money for Isco. That's an option. And then we have Odesson Edouard, our backup striker. Mm, see, he's a very good backup striker. However, I know it's hard when you're playing against Alexander Isaac, who is our first choice indefinitely. But I just don't feel like Edouard has scored enough goals for us, even when he's been given the opportunities. So I know he's valued a lot. So it could be worth 48 million. It could be worth trying to sign a cheaper backup option and selling him. That's another possibility. Then there's Memphis Depay, who is 29 now. And he's worth a lot of money. And he wants a new big contract. Can I give it him? I'm not sure. I promised it him at the end of the season. Time's ticking away here. And I've made literally zero changes up. Poor for me, but I've just been chatting away. Tenali can come off. So can Marino get their midfielders on. And then one more. I'll bring on Edouard. But yes, yeah, so it might be worth buying another striker. Not too sure. Then our defence. Well, uh, well, well, we are champions. We know that now already. 4-0 victory, very convincing, easy enough. But I just want to talk a little bit more about next season's plans. Yeah, they're all delighted. Me too. Crazy on his eye. But have a look at our squad. So, Bernat, if we cannot get him back on loan, and I, I know we've got a buy option, but he's 30 years old. And if you're thinking, I'm going to pay how much? <laughs> 44 million, you're, you're having a laugh. That is not going to happen. I'll, I've been so impressed with him. He's been great. But I'm just not going to pay that for a, a 30-year-old. So I need a new left-back if I can't get him back. Possibly a new centre-back. Is it Alastondo? Mm, he is our fourth choice, so it's not even a big deal. He's homegrown at club, so he's probably worth keeping around, actually. So we're not in desperate need. I think we have three solid centre-backs in Torres, Luis Felipe and Le Normand, who are all wanted. Paris Saint-Germain, Juventus. City United, Paris Saint-Germain, Juventus. 
Man City. So, yeah, we, we, our team is wanted across the board. Isaac's wanted by Arsenal, Ayazabo by City, Eduard by PSG. So, potentially, could sell him, actually. Iremendi will be leaving, don't, don't forget. So, yeah, he's not really played this season at all, has he? But anyway, so there is plenty of stuff that can still go on for next year. We are champions of the Copa del Rey and La Liga. Let's just, just show you the final league table. Well, it's not the final. We still have one more game left, but it's a dead rubber. I'll just play a second team in that game. So there's no, there's not, it's not really worth wasting an episode telling you about it. Next season, we will be back. And I'm praying for once, or finally, can we win? The UEFA Champions League, that is the task now. We've dominated Spain now. We've won pretty much everything there is to win. We've won the Europa League. We just need the Champions League. Hopefully we can do it next season. Please leave a like, leave a comment and subscribe to the channel. See more and follow this great journey. Goodbye. <laughs>